Okay, ladies and gents, today we are going to be uh, doing a quick video on how to import the teams that I'm going to be sharing with you in the link below. Okay, uh, first and first, I have to make sure that you understand this, okay? Since I've started my Master League and all this other series that I have on Rani, I can't uh, delete my save, my saves, and then restart the teams, reset the teams. Since I can't risk doing that, so I won't show you. Uh, I won't start afresh from a clean team. I don't know if that makes any sense. I won't start. I won't start from a, uh, from scratch in a sense. What I'll do is I'll just show you the process of how to get the teams onto uh, the game into the game. Okay. First thing first, you go to if you are on PC. You go to Documents, Konami, and then in there you'll find a folder that says PES 2020, eFootball PES 2020. You click on that, and then inside that there's a folder that says We PES. If you have already started, uh, obviously you have already started uh, something on your game. So that We PES folder will be in there. If you already have the kids, you already have that folder so inside that folder you will place the teams that i'm going to be sharing with you and then from there you go into the game go into edit then import then import teams okay it's as simple as that so when you're here on import teams you click that and then you say it says to you you can import previously exported team data Team data must be saved to the following folder. Say documents, Konami, eFootball, PES 2020, WePES. It may differ depending on your system setup, but that's the gist of it. Okay. So you click OK. So now you see all the teams that you have saved there. You have Amazulu, Arroz, Barroca. These are the teams that I'm going to be sharing with you. This is how they are going to appear. If you don't have another uh, what is it called again if you don't have another option file in the folder so if you have you'll have a lot of teams in there if you already have another option file going but it should be easy to see this ones so I've named them accordingly so if I hit import here if I click that and hit uh, go to what is it go to advanced settings it says apply player and squad data override image files of the same name okay then I click those and then I hit OK and then the team will be imported okay but it will be imported uh, because uh, because I already have the team even if I were to import it uh, let's say apply player data override image files of the same name okay I don't have to do that so apply player and squad data so that means uh, all the data that was there when I saved uh, will go straight into the team but since I've started my master league, I don't want to risk it. Should anything go wrong, then I'll have to restart the team again and re I mean make it uh, recreate it. Ooh, yeah. I'll have to recreate it and that's a that will take me another week or so to complete or a, a full day if I'm I'm doing it uh if if I'm not uh if I start in the morning, if I have a full day, basically, it will take me a day to um, recreate it. 
should anything go wrong. So I'm gonna rely on you guys to let me know if this works out. So for people on PS4, if this thing, if uh, PC teams can work, I think they should work because people who create these mods and all this, uh, what do you call, um, option files. Yeah, people who create these option files actually use the PC to create them. So if it doesn't work out, then I'm sorry about that. But sh uh, if it does, then that's good. But here's how you go about it. You get a flash drive or a memory stick, depending on how do you, <laughs> what you call it. Uh, you take that memory stick or flash drive you format it and uh, create a folder in it that says we pairs okay after creating the folder that says we pairs you put all the teams that I have uh, shared here into that folder all right together with the kids that I'm going to I think I'm going to be sharing both the teams and the kids as well Okay, because there are additional kids that I've put in there as well, and some that I've altered, that I hadn't shared. I uh, I only shared once, so I haven't shared the updated uh, kids. So you put them in there, in that folder. Okay, exactly how they are, and then after that, you go into your game. I, I mean, you plug in the flash drive onto your PS4. Then you go into the game, you open up the game, then you go to edit, same process will take place. You go to import and then import the teams and then uh, Bob's your uncle. Should that be successful? Alright, here's what you will have. Should that be successful? Uh, if you go to edit. teams okay and then i go down so down here because i also oh okay down here after the afc champions league there will be pas league here down here it will say pas pas league you go in there you will find all the teams and hopefully all the players in there if the players aren't there it means you'll have to rename all the players that are in there and edit them and uh, yeah edit them according accordingly but if the players are there then that's good for you another thing is uh, uh competitions also okay you go to import export import competition i have also put the competitions in here it says apsa psl Shelly, uh, Shelly Helix PSL and Telcom PSL. Okay, you highlight all of them and then import them. So, if that's successful, when you go into Edit Teams, you go down right underneath the AFC Champions League, there will be APSA Premiership. Okay, and then if you go to Competitions and go down to PAS league it doesn't change in here for some reason I don't know why so you will find APSA Premiership Telcom Knockout and Shell Helix Cup okay yeah, yeah Shell Helix Cup so inside the APSA Premiership competition structure okay draw size okay it will say APSA Premiership 18 games 18 teams I beg your pardon you will have to reduce this to 16 okay and make sure that all the teams are in there after you reduce it to 16 if you go to competitions and uh, go to PAS League then APSA Premiership oh I, be, uh, I, made a, I made a mistake there if you go to competition structure Instead of draw size, you go to Asia. 
okay in asia you use your rb button if you are using a uh, if you are using a uh, xbox controller just like me it's, it's going to be rb i don't know what it is uh, with the uh, playstation uh, playstation controller so but it's one of the buttons on the right uh, on the right side okay you use that to look for it then you find absa premiership so in here there will be 16 teams but there's a possibility that some of these teams will be misplaced so you'll have to find them if there's a team here that is not supposed to be here just click on it and then keep using the rb to look for it it will be in other clubs asia okay then you just select it and then it will be replaced in those teams it will replace yeah it will be replaced by the right team if that makes any sense unfortunately i can't demonstrate this because i don't want to mess up my saves i don't even know if they will this will mess up my saves so yeah i think that is all for today and should everything go smoothly then you'll have all the psl teams to play with and then you can do whatever you can change the player ratings if you think i have uh put too high of ratings on the players you can decrease those uh player stats you can deal with those and then yeah uh, make it so that it suits you then you can keep uh playing with the psr so good luck guys and uh thank you for watching don't forget to comment like and uh, subs uh, subscribe on this uh, channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace